All right, one of the things we want to show you guys here on this year's training is how to do voltage drop test. We always talk about checking your grounds and things like that. The voltage drop is actually a much better way to find out if your components are functioning properly and if they're hooked up properly. The very first step in doing a voltage drop check is actually to check the voltage available to the vehicle. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my meter, set it for DC volts, and all I'm going to do is check the battery condition and the voltage available to the system. So looking down here, 1227, 1228 volts DC. It's not perfect, it's not exactly where we want it, but this is a deep cycle battery, so we're down a little bit, but that'll work for our testing. Today we're going to show you how to do a voltage drop test. We are going to have our meter, we're going to use a min-max setting on a meter this time instead of a regular setting. We're going to connect our negative meter lead to the negative battery terminal. We're going to connect our positive meter lead to the negative terminal of our remote starter. We're going to come over here, set our meter for min-max. And we're going to go ahead and remote start the vehicle to place a load on it and see if we get a voltage drop. Okay, now I can go back and use my meter, use my min-max setting, I can actually see what the voltage drop was. Press the button, that's my max setting. As you can see, 0.277. That's right on the edge of being a bad ground with a large. Now we're going to show you how to do a voltage drop check. If you have a meter that doesn't have a min max setting, we're going to use the same setup as before. We're going to go ahead and remote start the vehicle. I want you to pay close attention to the meter itself. Now, as you can see, the meter went up to about 0.277. About the same reading as we got before using the min-max, but this way it was doing it without using the min-max feature. Mm -hmm.